Hello and welcome back to RL Craft in the dangerous, or I should say, in the dangerous world of RL Craft because this, this world is uh, is pretty dangerous. <laughs> but anyways, in this episode, I want some stuff done. One th particular thing that I think I've been mentioning for a couple of episodes now, and I have never gotten to around to do. Uh, I want to do that today, and also I want to start progressing towards getting a flying mount so that we can actually explore because it is encouraged that we explore in our old craft. So we shall begin to do so. But before we get started, I just want to grab your attention real quick. I want to make a quote-unquote viewer satisfaction test, so to say. <laughs> Basically, I want you guys to be happy with the content that I make, I want you to like it, I want you to enjoy it. Um, so for that, at the top of the description of this video, you will see a link to a Google Forms. If you could just take five minutes of your time to fill it out, that would mean a lot. It contains some questions and if you could answer those, it would be amazing. It's just some simple ones about my content and if you like it or not. So please go ahead and do so if you wish. Um, it would mean a lot and I cannot improve unless I get feedback. And I think this is a pretty good way of getting feedback from you guys. So if you wish to give your feedback, go ahead and check it out. Link at the top of the description. Um, let's begin, shall we? <laughs> First off, uh, I, I want to dem demolish this thing pretty much because, yeah, it it's not good. It, it It's inefficient because look at all the space that we have back here. I've said it before. So I want to just demolish pretty much this entire thing. Even the chest. Yeah, the chest and everything. Everything that is here except for the chests that actually have content in them. They... Oh, froze. <laughs> they can stay um, temporar temporarily. But I just want this place cleared so that I later on can go ahead and uh, fill it in. So I'm going to do that first. I'm thinking of doing it as a time lapse, uh, I guess. Uh, but first, though, first, I really, really want gathering to be at to be at eight, because once it's at eight, we can start using uh, iron tools, gathering eight, gathering eight. So that is next. Also, I believe it was a comment telling me to press L on the keyboard. And level up, you must reach a level 5 before choosing a specialization. And I think I did actually try it uh, before off camera. And it looks interesting. I, I remember I was like, really, I was really like, ooh. So hopefully we'll get to that today and be able to check that out. But I'm going to continue doing this. Uh, in fact, I might even start cooking up really quick. Do we have... Yeah, we only have two uh, stone bricks here. I want some more stone bricks made. Uh, do we even have coal for that? Uh, yeah, let me just... 16 here, 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 here. That should give us a stack of stone bricks just so we can fill this out. And of course we have F6 to ensure that everything is spawn proofed. It should be. Oh, wait a second. That's a zero. I think we I think we're good though. Oh, lag. Yeah, that's from the window we can see everything out there. Okay, we should be good on the inside. We should be good. Let me clear out this area and uh, we'll be right back. I'm not happy with that opening. I'm not happy with that opening at all. No. How about we just... Eh. Yeah, thank you very much. 
<laughs> no, thank you. And that looks pretty dark back here, doesn't it? Oh, that's a seven. Oh, no. Those are seven marks. Oh, dear. Uh, that's not good. Equip shield. That's not good. We don't want any marks of seven anywhere. That's a lot of glowstone down there as well. All right, thing. This place looks a lot better. Well, kind of anyway. Uh, it looks good. It looks good so far. I am thirsty, though. Uh, I have a lot of weird stuff on me. Let's just get some water here. But now this area is cleared and I can actually now start designing and thinking on a um, on a storage, well, I guess design over here. There's not really going to be much design going into it, but it's, it's going to be something. <laughs> just a better place for me to organize my items. Anyways, that should be that. Let me organize my current inventory. We have a stack or a stack of chests from this. Which is pretty cool. Let me just, as I said, organize this and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm just looking through here to see if there was anything related to like storage or chest or barrel. But all I really see are those and I cannot seem to get a crafting recipe for those. So if you know if there is a good way or another way of storing items than chests, uh, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that is enough of that. Um, I should have everything I need. I might want to make a quick uh, iron pickaxe here. Where did I put the crafting table? Just to have with me in my backpack, which is over here. Just to have with me. You know, you, you never know. Uh, also, I don't need that because I'm not going to be able to use that because I'm never going to be able to get magic. Uh, 69,420. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to use that. All right, we are, in case you did not uh, get the hint, we are leaving the base. Also, by the way, I did this off camera. I s why, why is that not fixed? That should be fixed. That kind of scares me. That hole should be fixed. Why is it not fixed? I don't know, but I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know why it's not fixed. It should be fixed. I'm scared. Help me. <laughs> okay, no big deal. We're just gonna do that. Okay, cool. And we're gonna put this one away. Awesome. All right, so uh, We're almost at five levels so we can check out that thing. Uh, we're gonna go out actually Shield equipped Hello Hello Yep, those are the ones that I want to tame. I want to tame one of those. I don't know how But I guess we're gonna find out but not now. To, uh, from my understanding, to be able to tame one of these things, we need a uh, treat. We need one of these treats. Avian treat, I think. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I think it's avian treat. Which we can make by co make it, uh, using cooked chicken and bones. So that is why we're actually going to go down, as they say, a trip down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go back to our old base because if you don't remember or maybe it was not around when the series started we oh dear I need to I need to get access to the top island and clean that up as well oh dear lots of stuff to do um, but if you do not remember uh, back at our old base we actually started a cow farm both a cow and a chicken farm. So we're gonna go back to that and I guess back to our old hidey hole or base. And we're gonna take a look at it and see if we can get any of the chickens over there. Uh, so we can make these treats. Now again, I don't know how many we'll need. Uh, but I'm hoping we'll have enough. We'll obviously breed them. but And not kill all of them. But uh, we'll see. Actually, I might not be able to breed any because I might not have what I need. We'll see. Mobs are out though. That means these zombies and that skeleton over there might not be the only ones. Okay, we're at five levels now, so these guys were not that bad actually. They helped us a bit. We'll take a look at it in uh, safe surroundings. I don't feel safe right now. Nowhere is safe in this pack, in fact. Nowhere. Alright, there is the balloon, and our base should be right. 
beyond that hill. I remember we were here getting our first sugar cane. That was fun. Wait a minute. Is this ice where I get... Oh, look at one of those. Stay away. Uh, yes. I want some of these. I need some of these. Eight. Uh, it's melting. I need it. Hold on. Uh, two. Three. I believe I need four. Is there another one? There's one over here. There's one over here. I need four. I need these because I'll show you in a minute. There. Finally. Uh, because I can use them to make cooling coils and gelled slime. What is that useful for? Ooh. And this is useful for what? Uh, something. I don't know what this does. <laughs> but these will be useful to make uh, this cooling coil, which could become it could come in handy. Also, this guy is cool. He's uh, giving me positive potion effects every now and then. Well, almost constantly. Is our home invaded? Let's see. No, it does not look like it. We have the cows here. We have the cows. We have the chickens. The crops are growing. <laughs> and we have... Oh yeah, what's this again? Rain collector. Hmm. We'll set that back at uh, at our oh at our new uh, at our new home. That torch is still burning. Huh? But you look at that obsidian and iron pickaxe. Was that the first iron pickaxe we made? I don't know. We'll bring it because we need them. Anyways, we're really here for these guys, aren't we? <laughs> now, how many? Oh, you get four. So if I get eight chickens oh dear I did not know I would kill so many with one head okay um hmm okay <laughs> that was need three more hmm okay that was not quite enough hmm that's annoying well the Sun is setting so I'm gonna sleep here real quick and then I think we're gonna go off and take a look at if we can find some wild chickens because I really want this avian meat here or avian treat. I believe it's avian we need. I really hope it is. Alright, it is a fresh morning and I'm gonna go find some chickens because I wanna find some I wanna make that avian treat. Quickly it's night time and I don't like it. Alright, we're home. Finally. <laughs> that was scary. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay. Um, also, by the way, we will most likely at some point either move the animals or get some new farm animals over here. It's just so we have a sustainable source of food, you know. That would be nice to have. But anyways, we have now like 20 chickens. Uh, unfortunately, what were down there has now despawned. Uh, hopefully after a bit of inventory sorting and stuff... Oh, you know what? I think they might actually spawn at night. Hmm. Yeah, I think they might spawn at night, you know. Also, I have no idea how to tame them. But anyways, now that we're home, we can really quickly, first off, get a drink. Like so. And then I'm gonna press L on the keyboard. So let's see what we got here. Mining plus XP from ore, crafting XP from crafting, and combat XP from mobs. If I choose crafting... Can I choose multiple? No. If I choose crafting, and I press done, then what? Ooh. Stone cutting, level 5 cost, prospecting. What? What is this? What is this? Okay, so if I click on one, stone cutting, increases stone harvesting speed, plus 30% speed per level. Level cost 5. Oh. Well, that's in mining. If we go in crafting, crafting specialization, gain experience from crafting. I think that's what we have now. Cooking speed, increased furnace cooking speed, random tick increase, plus one per level. Shift right click with empty hands to bind furnace to you. Level cost 11, so we can increase that. That's cool. Okay, awesome. On the topic of that, of that uh, we now have enough to finally get gathering eight. That is... Great. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to click on. 
That is great. I also want magic up, but that will have to wait. But this means that we can now get rid of these stupid stone tools. They're not stupid. They have followed us well through the <laughs> through the RL craft series, but now we can finally replace them with um, with iron varieties. Let me just uh, fix my inventory and try and wait for night time, and then we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll be able to tame something. I might just also do some uh, research on how to tame one of those. All right. It is now, as you can see on the time here, it is now night time. Before it turns completely dark, I want to put this rain collector out in the front somewhere. Though, what is that? Uh, I'm sure that that's something. Uh... You know what? It'll do just fine there. I hear things. And I don't know if it's... Oh, what on... Yeah. Nah, we're staying indoors today. This though would be problematic if that, uh, the, yeah, if that, yeah, mm, that could be pro that could be very problematic. Well then, while we wait for it, give them a chance to spawn and then we'll sleep. We gotta, we gotta make a few things. Um, first we gotta make the treats that we're gonna use. So that is just four bones and well two bones and five cooked chickens and now we have 16 avian meat hopefully that is going to be enough now if we do manage to tame one we will need a soul stone use on a tamed creature to bind it to your spirit allowing you to summon and dismiss it anyway anytime and uh, okay, give me that mm -hmm. let's go over here instead there we go okay so we need that but to make it, uh, it's a bit expensive, but we also need the soul gate to use on equation to add it to the beast area. Uh, and that is also expensive, so I don't know if we have those resources. We do have the diamonds. Alright, we do have the diamonds. We would need to use five of our diamonds here. And to be honest with you, I don't feel like it's such a bad sacrifice. I think this is actually pretty good, considering we will basically have a flying mount anytime. Uh, and be able to summon it and unsummon it uh, all the time. So I think that is actually pretty good. So let me just get the gold. We actually have less gold than diamond. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that right? I don't know. All right. So let's make the soul gazer. There we go. And then let's go ahead and make the soul stone. Oh, and it doesn't use up the soul gazer. Okay, that's cool. We'll uh, add that to the backpack. And the soul stone will keep in the backpack as well, together with avian meat. I'm gonna put it in the backpack. Uh, what is... Okay. Um, I think it's time to sleep and then uh, give it a minute and then see if we have any uh, flying boys down there. I don't feel tired enough to sleep. Excuse me? Where are these green? I don't feel... Why don't I feel tired enough to sleep? He's gonna be on top there by being annoying, isn't he? Well, I guess I'm stuck in nighttime with this creepy guy on top of my island. Uh, and a crab sticking th its thing through my door. This is not pleasant at all. Maybe we should call it an episode here, because I'll have to wait through the night now. The episode is quite long. Whoa. Is it like some sort of... Blue moon or something? A blue moon? No. <laughs> Blood moon or something? I don't know. I definitely cannot sleep, so... I think it might be some sort of special moon. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll call it an episode here, guys. Uh, I'm sorry we did not get to tame anything today. We will, though, definitely ne next time. I can promise right now we will next time. But now we have all the things that we require to do. We have the soul stone and we have the avian treats. And also we finished that area. So maybe I'll spend the diet <laughs> organizing the chest room. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Don't allow now where you to see. Zapu, oh, if you, we can't even buy it. Just a bunting, we can't even buy it.